Well, good morning, y'all. It is early morning. It's about 7.15 or so. And about 7, yep, yeah, 7.15. And I am at my job for the day. I've had a little bit of breakfast and um, just ready to get this job done so I can head home. I was so tired. I think I told you all that. And um, I got a good night's sleep. And um, y'all, chime in if you all watched the Wendy Williams special. It was so sad. I watched as much as I could before I fell asleep. But let me know if you all watched it. And again, I was a huge Wendy Williams fan. So, of course, it saddened me when her show was discontinued. And now it saddened me even more to know the health struggles that she's going through. But hopefully with the love and support of her family and getting all the medical attention she needs, she should do really well. But anyway, y'all, um, everyone have a blessed day. And I know I will. And I'll uh, check in with you guys. It has been a short but a long day. It the job went over as it often does and believe it or not y'all this job is not a hard job but it is exhausting even some of my co-workers are saying they're exhausted because you have a certain amount of time that we have to get our clients taken care of and i'm telling you y'all we were we were hustling today anyway i am heading home i've got about a little over three hour drive and you best believe when i get home I am going to get my heating pad, I must relax it, and I'm calling it a night. So, because I'm a nurse and there's a law called HIPAA, we have to protect the uh, health information of our clients, and so I can't, can't really show you um, too much other than where I travel, you know, the hotels I stay in. But anyway, thanks again for tuning in to Always a G. This is the second half of my cardio, which again, I do cardio five days a week. So I'm going to do my cool down and I'll talk to you guys later. spend the afternoon with me she likes to watch action movies so we'll find something really fun to watch and maybe have snacks um i'm just going to kick back and relax i do day in the life of g mama c and here she comes like it was 80 degrees today at its highest cool front move through which was expected and now it's back to winter coats and hats and i'm on my way to the baby grand school two of them are having a concert tonight and i promised them i would be there that's the thing about being a grandmother is you really never stop being supportive what love is you support your kids as well as your grandkids and they want you to try to be at every function that they're involved in and if I can attend I do attend because I want to continue to support them and everything they do in all their endeavors and so I am arriving at the Baby Grands did really well. Um, little patty cake sings with the sixth graders. And then um, 
Dre sings with the male chorus and they did such a great job. The music teacher at the kids school, she is very, very good. With this being Black History Month, she did some songs that were basically very diverse. She did an African song that was sang in Swahili and then she did another song that was done a cappella, a cappella and by the girls choir and uh, they actually did their own um, instrument. They used their bodies as instrument almost like a hand drive and so she I uh, really give her a lot of respect because you can tell she loves what she does and she's always doing something innovative with the choir to get in my house where it's warm crawl in my bed with my heating pad and call it a night Wednesday and once again I'm off and running I need to run to my doctor's office they want me to give me another urine sample she won't clear me for surgery now this is my family doctor things that might show up and she's just covering all of her bases Thank you. So after talking to you, I did mark some down, but it was a Minecraft. Good shit, cookies. Those the shake weights. I, I uh, had one given to me, and if you see my arms in the workout, didn't do a whole lot of good, honey. You know, you guys have seen the commercials for that, the lizard lights before. Oh, the mermaid just dropping your tank. Okay, that's interesting. So, well, guys, I'm going to take my perk. I have gotten my purchased at Ollie's. One of those stores that is very contagious. There is not too much of anything that you can't get in Ollie's. And well, I have a coupon that expires on the 3rd and so I'm going to run into Bath and Body Works and get my free item. And they have wallflowers for, I believe they're $3.95 and I'm well stocked but I thought I would go ahead and pick up some extra since they're on sale. Well, and then I have I have a coupon I've got to use before the third of March um, uh -huh. for a free. I think it's up to nine ninety five or something like that. Okay, that would and, be the travel size. Right. Uh, okay, and then um, I also have a twenty percent off coupon. Can I use that today as well? Um, it would have to be a separate transaction. Okay. Because it expires the third too. Okay. Um, so it would be separate from. The so you can't do twenty percent off on the wall the wallflowers. Okay. That's, that sucks. <laughs> they know what they're doing. Yep, that's the whole point of being able to bargain shop. Uh-oh. Test too well, so I went ahead and picked up some things in Bath and & Body, and I'll do a haul when I get home. 
and that way you guys can see I didn't pick up a lot I had a budget when I went in there I wanted to get my free item and just so you know the free item was basically for the trial size and that's okay because I didn't pay for it and I got a scent that I can use 